Hey, what's up everybody? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys today with another break. Today, a bit of a break out of left field, if you will, even though this is a, a hockey break. Uh, pardon that baseball pun. But I have a great idea I came up with, and I'm going to give a plug right off the bat to the person that actually gave me this idea. So please check him out. Great White North Hockey Cards. Give him a sub. Check out his channel because he actually gave me this idea. Uh, I watched a couple of his videos and saw him create his very own uh, boombox, if you will, um, in which he essentially went to a website, which I'm going to give you guys also right now. Put that right up there for you. Imaginaire.com. Uh, this is a website. They sell a whole lot of different stuff. Um, collectible things, uh, figurines, toys, anything you can imagine. But pertinent to us, they sell sports cards and they sell packs um, of about any sport you can imagine. So what I actually did, I did a little comparison. I use uh, Dave and Adam's Card World uh, quite a bit, and they normally beat a lot of the prices. This site blew them out of the water uh, with some of the prices. I compared all the prices. This website and company is actually out of Canada. But i got to tell you guys right off the bat that uh, they offer anything to the U.S. Uh, if you spend $200 or more, it's free shipping. Um, and honestly, the price per packs that you guys will save is just absolutely insane. Only downfall I've noticed is they sell out quite a bit, obviously, because of such great prices probably. But um, yeah, that being said, guys, the whole point of this entire thing is I decided to create my very own hockey boombox. That's right, my very own hockey boombox. And you'll note it's one of two because I can't help myself. I had to create enough here where I needed two boxes uh, to contain all the packs. We got a total of 21 packs of some awesome hockey cards that we're going to get to today. Uh, call, like I said, my very own boombox. These 21 packs, real quick, I'll tell you guys before I show them to you, cost a grand total out the door of $208.12 US. Uh, so that's $289.63 Canadian, but uh, $208.12 uh, US. Um, let's fill in the background really quick, guys, and then we're going to open these up and I'll show you what we got going on. Uh, some kind of random cards for today. My 1718 uh, CHL uh, star rookie card of Alexis Lafreniere, uh, Beckett 9.5 gem mint. We're going to throw that in the background today. You guys will see why here in a little bit. Uh, well, I don't know. We'll throw that, I guess, over here on the left side. And then let's do, oh, let's do from 0708 Series 1, uh, the Carey Price Young Guns that I pulled um, prior. We'll put that back there. And a card that you guys have not seen for sure yet um, from 1718 Upper Deck Premier. A uh, box I opened for myself recently off camera. I pulled this awesome signature award winners, number 8 of 10, Le Magnifique Mario Lemieux. On card autograph. Awesome card. Obviously for my PC as a Pens fan, that is a huge hit. I was super, super pumped to pull that out of that pack. So that will be center stage. Anyway, guys, let's bust these open and we'll see what we got in this incredible boom box that I kind of created for myself. Uh, you can see it's jam stuff with packs. Like I said, I couldn't fit these all into one boom box. I could have created a couple of different videos, I guess, but quite honestly, you guys can see it's empty. Uh, quite honestly, I wanted to, um, do this all in one video because I was just so excited to get these packs. Um, and there it is, guys. I even threw this in there for you. The customary one touch ready to go. Uh, let's see what incredible packs we have here. So that's it for that. So all over the place, I'm going to go through these quick, guys, because I don't want this to be a half-hour, 45-minute video if I can help it. But uh, 1920 pack of SPX Hockey. Uh, 1920 Allure Hockey. And you note those both are hobby packs, obviously. Uh, then we got a 1920 um, AHL Upper Deck Hockey. I believe they only do that in hobby. I'm not positive, but I believe so. 1920 Trilogy Hockey Hobby Pack. Uh, then we got a 1718 uh, Upper Deck Canada Juniors. And that, I believe, is also Hobby. Then we got a 1920 Artifacts Hobby Pack. Uh, 1819 AHL. 
That's also a hobby, I'm pretty sure. 1819 Trilogy hobby. Uh, one of my favorites, 1819 SP Authentic. Uh, 1819 OPG Platinum hobby. 1718 SP Authentic. 1516 Upper Deck uh, Canada Juniors. Uh, here we go. These I got two of these ones. We're gonna take a shot for the old Connor Mac here. 1516 Trilogy, two of the packs. These are two of the more expensive packs, actually, uh, if not the most expensive packs out of this break today. Then I picked up four of these. Uh, we got 1415 SP Authentic. Looking for the dry side old Pasternak uh, future watches. Picked up a 1314 Panini rookie anthology. A little old school here, 0708 Upper Deck Series 1 Hobby Pack. Looking for that same carry price that's in the background there, along with Patty Kane, among others. And then we got a pack of 0506 uh, Upper Deck Series 2. Um, not sure if that one's Hobby or not. I can't remember, honestly. I don't see it labeled Hobby on the front. I want to say it's Hobby, but I'm not positive. It might just be retail. Oh, you know what? It is retail. Um, but still... Going for the Ovechkin uh, Young Guns in that pack. So that's the 21 packs that we're looking at today, guys. Uh, if you like hockey, this break is for you. Uh, if you guys are interested in baseball as well, I will tell you guys in advance. I did do this same exact thing in a baseball version. Uh, so check out that video as well. Um, that's either uploaded already or going to be uploaded very shortly. But that one is absolutely awesome as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, with no further ado, let's get right into this, guys. I think we'll start maybe with the old school stuff. Let's go with the 0506 right off the bat because really I, you, you can't go wrong with any of these packs I got really. I'm ecstatic to open every one of these packs and see what we could get. Hopefully some big stuff, some big pulls. I like this idea. If you guys like this idea, let me know. Um, please, in the comments, I can do this again in the future. I'll be happy to and mix up the packs even more. But let's get right into this 0506 and hope for some type of young guns. The cards are definitely wow are they stuck in this one so let me give out a little little crack there off camera and try to keep from damaging the cards okay so we start with a pavel avor vorobiev vorobiev uh john graham unfortunately no young guns it looks like one of them hometown heroes cards uh we got brian rolston uh, hometown Heroes, Marcus Naslin. So that will be our insert for that pack. Those are not numbered or anything like that. I recall those uh, from opening a lot of this product in the past. Uh, we got Kimo Timonen. Uh, Nikolai Zirdov. Uh, Mark andre Bergeron. Diary of Phenom. This is in every pack. This is going to be card number 18 of Sidney Crosby. It's a 30-card set, I want to say. I have the entire set and then some, but they inserted this all in Series 2. And then you always get the victory uh, card on the end, and it's actually a rookie of Johan Franzen, so that's a decent one. Uh, at least that's probably the best card in the entire pack. So pretty cool. And actually, quite honestly, the centering actually looks pretty decent on that. For a change, victory tends to be quite a bit off-centered. So not a bad pack to start us off. Let's go right into the 0708 Series 1. Let's see if we can get a Carey Price or a Patty Kane or one of the other great rookies. Uh, and again, this is a hobby pack. Yes, this is a hobby pack. So let's see what we can get. We have a chance at like the exclusive, um, things like that in here. So we got an Eric Christensen. I remember him well. He's part of the Marion Hosa trade, went to Atlanta uh, with some of the others back around uh, that time. Steve Bernier, uh, Trent Hunter, uh, Rafi Torres, Cam Barker. Looks like maybe no inserts here. Gilmont Address. Hey, Sid Crosby. That's nice. Uh, nice little Sidney Crosby card there. And we finish with an NHL's best, Ryan Miller. Those are not numbered or anything like that, but still. Pretty cool. Nice to travel back through time and go through these wide array of packs um let's do let's do this panini anthology uh we're gonna get five cards in this pack uh this is 13 14 as a reminder guys i honestly haven't opened any of this stuff um before uh we do got a very thick card that's good uh i wonder if this has a guarantee um 
here's the odds for you guys if you're curious about this product. They don't really give too much in typical Panini style. They don't really, they just give you the numbering and stuff like that. But it does look like we definitely have a hit. I do not think that is a decoy, but hey, who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, looks like it goes this way. So actually, let's pull this card up to the front. All right, so we got a Ryan Getzlaff to start, Hank Zetterberg, James Reimer, and then we got a hot rookies of Frank, uh, Frankie Corrado. Yeah, sweet. Nice. Remember the pens picked him up actually here, uh, but he kind of, you know, got buried and stuff. And this actually feels like a thick patch or something. I'm a little bit excited to see what we have here. This is the backside, so it looks like I think it's going to go this way. Flip it like a bandaid. One, two. Oh, nice! Look at that! Nice, nice, nice! Look at this, guys. Let's get that away here. Look at Jesper Faust. Select a uh, rookie jersey uh, auto card there. It's a sticker auto, and uh, the jersey, I'm guessing, is event worn. But let's check it out. Oh, look at the numbering, too, guys. Number two of 199. Sweet. And that, uh, let's see what they say. Oh, there we go. Right there at the bottom, the closed event worn material. So that's going to be like a photo shoot or something like that. But that's okay. So nice. Numbered card out of 199. That's a good start, guys. Sweet. And a decent player at that. Decent player. So that is pretty cool. Definitely happy with that pack. I'm glad. I threw that in at the last minute, actually, into the old shopping cart when I was uh, kind of building this boombox. That was just kind of at a whim because I really hadn't opened any of this uh, product. Oh, let's see. Save that. Um, oh, boy. Why don't we go with the junior stuff? How about that? Let's do some junior stuff. Uh, we got four packs of, like, CHL, AHL, junior, you know, Canada cards. Let's do... Yeah, the heck with it. Let's just do the 15-16 right off the bat. We're looking for Connor McDavid is included in here. Obviously, it would be considered a rookie card of sorts. This is incredibly thick packing that they have here. It looks like a huge decoy, unfortunately, in here. Um, I was hoping for something else. I like the back card. Look at that, guys. We'll get to that last, but we got a Mitchell Marner, a.k.a. Mitch Marner. That is going to be a good card. So we got Nick Ritchie uh, off the top. Laura Fortino for the women's, Dylan Hetherington, Sarah Davis. That's an exclusive, Anthony Bovillier. Nice. And that is 172 of 199, Anthony Bovillier exclusives. Sweet. There's our big thick decoy. And as promised, look at that, Mitchell Marner himself. Sweet. Awesome one there for the uh, Leafs fans. Any Leafs fans that are watching this? That's pretty cool for sure. Like that. I actually kind of wish I'd have bought maybe some more packs of the 1516. That's pretty cool. All right, let's set that over there. Let's go to try and do this in order. Here we go. 1718 uh, Canada. Let's see what we get here. Got Evan Bouchard on the end, I see. Ooh, I. It is not a decoy. We definitely have a hit in here. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to get five cards per pack, and we definitely only have four. We might have two hits in here. Wow. All right, you know what? Let's take it and get this card in the back. That Evan Bouchard, there it is. So you can see the Evan Bouchard. We got the Jake Bean. Ooh, nice. Canada jerseys, Matthew Joseph. Sweet for your Tampa Bay Lightning. We have something behind it that's also very thick. Oh, shoot. <laughs> they got me with a decoy. I should have known. It says five cards per pack. I would have thought with the insert card, like the jersey or something, that maybe we were getting four cards still. But apparently they eliminate t uh, two of the cards. So you only got three cards in that pack. But still, Matthew Joseph, uh, Canada's jerseys. That's pretty cool. Um, and that is game used. Yeah, game used. Pretty sweet. So. Tampa Bay Lightning fans, that one's for you. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we have. 1819. Uh, 1819 AHL. So let's see what we get here. Our last two of these packs are AHL. We got 1819 and 1920. 
See if we have some luck here. I don't see anything thick, but let's get right into it. We got Thomas Heike, Al Montoya. I feel like this guy's been around forever. In and out of the NHL, Tyler Sakura, Drake Batherson. That's a decent one. Decent one there for the Belleville Senators, aka Ottawa Senators. Uh, Brett Sini, Francis Perron, Joseph uh, Kernar, and Greg Carey in the end there. So pretty decent. Not bad. Cool to check out the uh, different packs. I don't open so much. Uh, 1920 to finish out the AHL uh, packs here. Okay, I do not see anything thick, but maybe there's an autograph. That'd be nice. Maybe those are not on thick stock. I really don't know because, like I said, I don't open too much of this stuff ever. Uh, I'm sorry if I butcher some of these names because I'm not as familiar with my minor league players as much as NHL, obviously. Uh, Jake Lechin. Lechison? Close, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, Brendan uh, Signick. Lane Peterson. Drake Batherson again. Uh, Evan Cormier. There we go. We got an impact card of Jeremy Bracco. Uh, Callie Rosen. Decent player. Uh, Reed Boucher. Jonas uh, Johansson. And Gabe Velarde finishes that pack off. So nothing stupendous out of that, but still pretty decent cards. Cool to check those out. Uh, let's see. What do we got to do next? SPX Lure Trilogy. Wow. This is just also awesome. Let's do let's do the 1819 OPG Platinum. Nice little hobby pack here. We're gonna get uh, four cards per pack. Looking for an autograph or a nice parallel of a rookie. That's what we're looking for here. And we got something red. So that is a good sign. Let's see what we got. We got a Franz Nielsen to start. Taylor Hall. Our oh, oh sick. Oh, Freaking awesome, guys. Look at that. I did not expect that. Retro Nikita Kucherov on-card autograph. Wow. Not sure the numbering. Let's check that out. Um. Okay, so they don't actually do numbering on that, but who the heck cares? That's awesome. What a hit. Holy heck. Red Rainbow Auto. Wow. That is sick. What a pull. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad I did this uh, boombox idea. <laughs> and we got Jason Spezza to finish that pack off. Wow. Sick stuff, guys. That's our second auto already. And the break is young. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. What are you guys thinking? Why don't we do some SP? Let's do... Well, let's go chronologically reverse. Let's do 1819 SP Authentic. I've opened so much of this stuff, guys. Uh, it's unbelievable. I'm hoping we're going to do all the SPF thanks right now. I'm hoping to pull at least one future watch would be great out of uh, these six packs or so that we have. Uh, let's hope for a little bit of luck, though. We start with a freaking Brad Marchand, Jonathan Druan, and then no card before, so it's probably going to be a Spectrum FX if I had to guess. And what the heck? No, it's not. Wow. Another autograph, guys. Look at that sign of the times, Oliver Bjorkstrand. Wow. Holy crap, guys. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. I'm definitely doing more of these boombox. <laughs> Create my own boombox things, guys. Wow. That is sick. So that's our third autograph. Wow. Duncan Keith and Vinny Trocek to finish that pack off. Holy crap, guys. Yeah, let me know if you guys... What do you guys think of this? I mean, this is awesome. I'm loving this break. 1718 SP Authentic next up. Hoping for the old Brock Besser uh, future watch, obviously, the, is the big one in here, uh, uh, which I do not have, and I would love to have it. Um, and we got three cards in front. I believe if it's a future watch, it's always in front of the decoy. So let's go in reverse here, guys. And let's hope. So we got a Tower Sagan, a Brandon Sod. Nikita Kucherov. Uh, Miko Ranton, and I can tell you it's not. It looks like it's one of them game moment things. Uh, authentic, authentic moments. That's okay. Corey Perry. Authentic moments. Those are not numbered or anything like that. And then our big old thick decoy. That's okay. I'm not complaining at all because I'm loving, loving, loving this break. Now we got four packs. 
of 1415 SP Authentic. I've actually never opened 1415 SP Authentic. So let's hope for some serious luck here. I'm hoping for an autograph future watch of anybody would be great, but specifically I'd love to get me a Leon Dreisaitl or David Pasternak. Those are the two big ones that I am looking for and hoping for. I do not own either of those. I have no idea the layout of how these cards would go, uh, so let's just go right through it. Marty Jones, Chris Kunitz, Yari Curry, huge thick decoy, and then we got some gold thing here. Let's just do the last card. It's uh, Damian Brunner, Brunner, and oh, that's one of them throwback cards. Oh wow, look at that! Holy smokes! Look at that Whalers throwback card there from SP. Um, wow. Throwback to 94. 94 uh, SP. That's a Mike Leut. Um, Pretty cool. I would imagine that's a decent short print. I don't know, like I said, much about the 1415 guys. I've never opened it. This is actually the first pack I've ever opened. Not a bad card, though. Seems pretty cool, at least, uh, to me. All right, let's move right along. Next pack of 1415. SP Authentic. Hoping for a future watch. Oh, it's definitely tough to see the names there. That Mike Richter just kind of blends right in. You guys see that there. It's very hard to see even for me. Marty St. Louis. Feel the thrill. And, ah, it's an update. Tyler Myers. So they did throw in the update cards back then as well, I see. And then we've got Decoy and Mike Madonna to finish that pack. So nothing stupendous for sure out of that one. Two more packs to go of the 1415. SP Authentic, hoping for at least one auto future watch. Uh, let's see what we got. Here we got Chris Kreider, Kyle Quincy. Uh, uh, modern Moments, okay. Modern Moments, John Gibson there as different. I've yet to see the Modern Moments. That's like the Authentic Moments and stuff like that. Decoy, looks like we got another gold. Jimmy Howard, so that's probably going to be another 94 SP card. Let's see if it's a decent one. Oh, nice. Nice. Jakob Voracek uh, there. Nice. You can actually see, you see his name right there in the gold. The Jakob Voracek uh, goes in there, and that's 9463. The reason I point that name out, let me pull out the... Oh, you know what? I didn't notice the Mike Leo. <laughs> okay, his name actually was in the gold. I thought that maybe they omitted his name, but it is there. It's just so hard to see. I thought that maybe it was an air card, but it is not. All right, final pack, SP Authentic. Please give me one future watch. I don't even care who at this point. Just give me one. Uh, this would definitely be awesome. we got Theo Fleury. Rob Brown. Wow, these are some older ones. Alex Galchenyuk. I'm not sure we do have something that might be a future watch. Matt's Zuccarello. Okay, our decoy. And... Oh, wow, look at that. We got one. Trevor Van Riemsdyk, future watch auto, sick. 818 of 999 on-card auto, awesome. I'd rather have JVR, his brother, but I'll take Trevor. I mean, that's pretty cool. Wow, that is, that's a nice signature, too. Not faded or anything like that, no. You know, that's decent. What's that, our fourth signature now by my uh, math skills, guys? <sighs> wow. Cool stuff for sure. All right, let's see. I'm going to save the 1516 trilogy as our very end. So we'll probably just do all trilogy at the end uh, if that's the way we're going to do this. So let's do, how about we do artifacts? 1920 artifacts. We've got a hobby pack of that. Holy thick. If this is a decoy, it's got me faked. It looks like a giant thick card, and I mean giant thick. Holy heck. Oh, tell me that's a... Oh, I, don't, I have no idea. I don't want to get my hopes up. I actually think it is a decoy because, look, there's a thicker card in front of it. If you guys can see that. There we go. Hopefully that's going to be an awesome hit. Let's just see what we got here and try and pull this out from the back. All right, so we got a Ryan Strom. Sorry for the glare there, guys. Base. The real deal, James Neal. That's going to be a decoy at the back, guys. I'm going to try and show you. Yeah, that huge, thick thing was a decoy. But we do have a hit. Let's see what it is. 
Whoa. Whoa. An Orum of Max Domi. Wow. That is crazy. Orum 19. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is the first artifacts I've actually opened in 1920. I used to open the old school stuff, and this is uh, not anything I've actually seen open. So I'm not actually sure how rare this is or crazy this is. Maybe a quick little glance here on the back odds. Uh, if you guys can see it at all. Let's see. Orum, Orum, Orum. Trying to find it real quick, but they have so many inserts in here. And just so many, oh, so many things that you can pull out of here. Uh, I don't see it, guys, but I know it's in there, probably right in front of my face. Um, ah, oh well, I don't want to waste the whole video trying to look for odds, guys. You can check it out for yourself, or I can check it out after. That's a pretty cool looking card, though. I do like the design. Uh, let's check out our 1920 hobby pack of allure. I do like this product that is brand new. Hopefully, we can. Have some luck here and pull an auto or something. I don't see anything thick, so that means not a jersey, but an auto could be in here. We actually have a die cut. Let's hope that it is not a, uh, let's hope that it's an autograph die cut. So we got a Max uh, Verano rookie to start, Rem Pitlick rookie, Braden Point. Now let's do the last card. Philippe Myers rookie. Uh, actually, we have one more card before we get to that die cut. Oh, nice. Winter Storm Warning, uh, Jonathan Taze. And, oh, sick! Eric Brandstrom, guys. Eric Brandstrom, it's a sticker auto. Who the heck cares? Eric Brandstrom, autograph rookie card. Nice, red rainbow auto, 328 to 349. Nice. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's our fifth auto from this awesome boombox, personal boombox. Sweet. Very sweet, guys. Wow. Some crazy pulls out of this so far. Um, you know what? We're going to go to what's guaranteed to be a hit. 1920 SPX. Uh, you're going to get one card in this pack. Let's hope for a nice autograph. I see it's an Avalanche player. I didn't mean to open it from that way, but let's try and do it this way so we don't see the back of the card first, although we've spoiled it. Know that it's Avalanche. Let's hope for a Kel McCarr. Whew, would that be sick? Uh, oh, it's black. It's black. I love the black, the UD black when they substitute those. Oh, <laughs> it's Cal McCarr. Rookies of black obsidian jersey of Cal McCarr. Oh, man. Oh, that's sick. Uh, not numbered or anything like that. Oh, that's freaking awesome. Can't tell if that corner is dinged up or if that's the light. I don't really. Oh, it is a little dinged there. If you guys can see that corner, Ugh, that's the one thing that's a little bit rough when you gotta buy these packs by themselves. The corner's a little dinged up there. But um, if I so choose, I could probably get a hold of upper deck and actually they take care of it for me. We'll see. But that's awesome. <laughs> wow, what a pull! What a pull! Love that pull for sure. All right, guys. Finishing up here, we got Trilogy. Let's go in reverse chronological order. So, again, 1920 Trilogy. Uh, four cards per pack. Let's hope for yet another autograph. Another awesome rookie card, something like that. Oh, we got something ultra thick. Unless it's another decoy, but let's see here. Let's get out of the pack and see what we're looking like. Oh, oh my gosh, it's a huge hit, guys. Oh, man, look at that. Look at the thickness of this card. Holy crap. Oh, I'm so pumped. This was such an awesome idea. I'm doing this again. <laughs> Matthew Barzell. John Gibson. I think our next card is our hit. Maybe, maybe not. I uh, know it's not. We got another card. Eric Branstrom, uh, rookie renditions. Holy crap. I'm so ready for this. What is it? Oh, nice. <laughs> Trilogy honorary triple swatches. That's right, Shake and Bake Gensel, number one of 35. Sick. Oh, is that sick, guys? Look at the patch on the bottom and everything. Jerseys. Wow. Holy crap, is that an awesome pull for the old PC? That is sick. I'm sure if Great Day for Hockey Cards is tuned into this video, he's going to appreciate this card. That is a heck of a pull for the old PC. Awesome, awesome stuff.
Wow. Oh, man, I am having a blast with this uh, this opening, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this as well and want me to do more of this because guess what? I am going to do this more because <laughs> this is absolutely cool. I am having a complete blast. So this is 1819 Trilogy. We're doing next. We're looking for the Elias, uh, obviously, in here. And we got a nice big old decoy. So we know we're not getting like a thick patch or anything like that. But let's hope for a decent uh, pool. We'll go reverse here. We've got a nice Tuka Rask. Uh, there we go. Tuka Rask, carry price. Oh, <laughs> get the heck out of here. Again. Wow, rookie premieres Warren Fogel. 140 of 399. That is a sticker auto, but oh, good golly, Miss Molly, are we having some luck? <laughs> Followed with an Andreas Johnson. Uh level one rookie premiere. 689 of 999. What a pack. Holy crap, guys. Wow. I can't even tell anymore. Is that our sixth autograph? Wow, decoy. Wow, that is, whew, holy heck. Moment of truth, the big boys, the 1516 trilogy. These were the most expensive packs, actually, out of everything. I believe they were more expensive than the 1920 SPX, which was a very expensive pack. There's a reason, though. We're looking for the old Connor McDavid for sure. Um, oh, buddy, look at that. There's giant thickness. I'm saving that pack. We're going to end with that pack, guys. Oh, holy crap. Oh, please tell me that is a Connor Mac anything, that thick card. Yeah, this one's a decoy, so holy heck, holy heck, holy heck. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> All right, so we got a Gustav Nyquist to start base, a Jonathan Huberdo, Hub Hub Huberdo. Nice Mark andre Fleury and our final card. Get the heck! Holy crap! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, guys. Shh. Hold up. I'm setting that right down. We're busting out the one touch for this one. Holy smokes. Because I do not want to screw with this. That is a really good card. Holy smokes, guys. Sorry, just give me a second here. I'm trying to make sure that it's... Properly in the old one touch, nice and secure. Oh, holy heck. We got a rookie premieres level three, 56 of 71. D boss himself, Dylan Larkin. And it's inscribed Go Red Wings. Holy crap. What a pull. Holy heck. That is insane. That is absolutely insane, guys. Wow. Wow, what a break. I hope you guys are loving this break. I know it's running a little longer than I was anticipating, but I hope it's worth it for you guys. It is for me. Wow. This is one of the better breaks I've had in quite a while. And to think that I just created this out of the packs from Imagineer. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. Shoot. I got a little peek there. Sorry, guys. Dropped it. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. It is not Connor Mack. I can tell you that, unfortunately. But it's still a decent hit. Mark Shifley. Uh, we got Aaron Eckblad, Max Pacioretty, and Steve Mason Triptiches. <laughs> Steve Mason Triptiches. Uh, not numbered. Oh, wait, it is numbered. I'm sorry. 180 of 250. Um, and that is game used memorabilia. It's a pretty decent size um, piece of jersey there. That is a very thick card. Holy crap. I thought it was going to be like a, a patch auto card or something like that. But, uh, oh, that's awesome still. Wow, what a what a freaking break, guys. <laughs> what a freaking break. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I, I don't even remember. Is it six or seven autos? Endless memorabilia, numbered cards pulled. I think the card for me out of this entire break was in those last two packs, that D-Boss. Holy crap, that is awesome. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this break, guys. Uh, and again, real quick, I'm going to plug them one more time. If you guys want to make a break yourself, I'm not being sponsored by them or anything, but it's a great idea, theimagineer.com. That's where I created all these, or got all these packs from Create the Boombox. And my idea came from great white North hockey cards. 
please head over to his YouTube channel. Give that guy a sub. Check out his videos. Uh, he's got some great stuff, especially with hockey, obviously. Uh, but please, for this channel, guys, like, subscribe, and share. Uh, hit the bell notification button to be notified of new videos. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. And again, I'm sorry this was a little longer, but I do think this one was worth it. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, have a great day, a great night, and uh, stay tuned for many, many more breaks, including more very similar to this one. All right, take care.